everybody. Uh, quick project. Um, my steel uh, FS40C bearing was good, but the grease was really, really old in it. Uh, and it was green. Um, it wasn't moving very well anymore. And although this is a silicon bronze bushing on both sides, which is technically self lubricating, uh, it, it just wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So um, I've already taken this apart because I wasn't sure if it was even possible. I didn't want to make a video when it wasn't possible, uh, but I will show you exactly what I did. Okay, so the short of it is, is you take your bushing out, your bearing out, okay? Now, your bearing comes out of the end of your pipe here. Obviously, I still need to clean that. Uh, and then, you know, you it all comes out with the clip here. There's several, you, or it all comes out with the clip here. Uh, the bolt that went through here also holds the bearing in. So, you know, there are several um, videos on that already. So back over here, uh, let's talk about this guy here. So when you see this, and I'll lay this out, this guy is sitting on this guy. And this little tiny steel washer here, which you can see I've marred up, is sitting on top of that. And then there's a small C-clip. The C-clip is not designed to be removed, so I had to cut it off with the Dremel. Now this is pressed on, but it's pressed on pretty loosely, so all you do is you take your, hold on, i got a, the other washer in there. This washer goes on the bottom of this guy, and then this, and then that washer. So all you got to do is take your, your wrench, whichever side, or anything else that'll hold this right here and you stick that on your vise and then you take a Phillips screwdriver and seat it in there nice on the end of that guy and then you just hammer them down with a rubber or plastic mallet don't use a metal one you want something with a little bit of shock absorption and it will just kind of pop its way out slowly then you can get inside here there either although there is two bushings in there sorry about the focus but I'm on a phone there although there is two bushings in there down in the middle of that basically where this hole is there's a bunch of grease that grease was nasty in mine I don't know how it got that way but it did so we are going to replace that grease the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to spray this bushing out with brake cleaner and get all that grease out as best I can I won't be able to do that on video because I'm sure you can figure it out, but I'm going to stick that in here and here and here and just get all the crap out of it. You can see it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repress that bearing back together, which I can show you. Uh, it should be real easy. It's the same way we got it out, just backwards. And then I will, um, uh, once that's back in, I'll fill that hole with grease right there that we're looking at. And I'll spin this thing, and I'll add more grease, and I'll spin it, and I'll add more grease until I'm confident that that whole pocket in there is full of grease. I'll also probably put a little tiny grease on, a little bit of grease on the shaft when we're driving it in, just to make it easier to drive in. So let's get started on that, and I'll show you the finished bit in a minute. All right, I've got it pretty cleaned out in there. So now, time to repress it. First things first, put the washer down. Then we need to get this guy on here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, and this will be hard for me to do with a cell phone, but you're just going to line them up and hit them nice and easy with a rubber hammer. Now I can't do that right now because obviously uh, I'm holding this phone and I need both hands to make sure that stays aligned. What you don't want to do is you don't want to score up the inside of your bushing. So uh, one second and I will be right back with you. Okay, that went on really, really easy. Uh, because I, you know, obviously it already greased it, so it just like a couple of hits went right down. Didn't need anything special. I did it just like this. Held it with one hand, hit it with the other with the rubber end of the mallet. Anyway, now all we need to do is put this washer on, and I do not have a replacement uh, C-clip for that, so I'm going to the store right now to buy one. Uh, just getting a little E-clip that fits that same size. I'm gonna take this washer with me so that way I have the right sizing. Right, so I went and got 
a collection of, um, you know, retaining rings. Nothing crazy. They're cheap at Harbor Freight, like five bucks. Or you can get one at Lowe's or whatever you want to do. This is a 3 8 shaft. So we measured it with a caliper. It is a 3 8 shaft, so just a 3 8 ring. Um, retains it nicely. Everything works good. So now we are going to just use, and I can't do this online, but I'm just going to take this little needle tip. I'm going to pump this guy full of grease and then spin him. Alrighty. So we're just going to put that in there. I'm going to pump it. Yep. Don't need a ton. That's probably a little too much. I'm just going to spin it around a little bit. And I'm just going to keep doing that until it stops taking grease. It's got a little tiny area in there for grease to come in and out. Um, and so it best thing to do is if you do have one of those screw in grease nozzles use that but I don't so anyway um, that's all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna you know make sure I've got enough in there and it does not it's not gonna take a whole bunch I know that for a fact and I probably already put too much in and I'll have to clean it up but not a big deal a little extra grease will not hurt this situation um, won't harm it and it won't cause any sort of problems so no big deal so anyway that's all i'm doing is just making sure it's spread in there real good and it feels good make sure it's not wobbly because if it if if this shaft is wobbly at all then this is a shot bearing and you've got to replace either the bronze bushings or buy a new one of these things these are like 50 bucks bronze bushings are usually pretty dang cheap but you know yeah inflation who knows so anyway so i just need to clean the grease out of here it oh it's out of focus oh that's way in there anyway yeah just clean the grease out of there and uh you know uh pack it with new grease um basically you want all these little roots and valleys filled with grease and just plug that right up in there and should be good to go that's basically what it looks like before I put it in there uh, make sure you put it where the whole side is lined up with the hole on the bottom of the shaft there um, it doesn't tend to want to rotate when it's in, oh it doesn't tend to want to rotate when it's in there so just try to line it up as best you can from the start and push it on in there and get it onto the there's a square shaft in there make sure you're on that it'll be easy to tell and if you have to you can take it apart down there with just a few screws uh and uh make sure it's all connected so that's pretty much all there is to it um if this was helpful please like and subscribe and i'll do more videos thanks